Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be teaching you guys how to set up an MCDU of uh, Airbus A320 in Aerofly FS Global or in any other realistic flight sim. So once you enter the cockpit, you will be seeing some this kind of interface in uh, MCDU. Uh, the first thing you are going to do is to add your departure and uh, arrival airport code for day. Uh, EGLL which is uh, for London Hydro is my departure airport and uh, for arrival I am taking code EHAM which is the code for Amsterdam International Airport next we are going to add uh, the alternate route which uh, could be for any emergency so for today I am taking an alternate airport as EDDF for Frankfurt Germany Next, I'm going to add uh, the flight number in the aircraft. For so, for example, for EasyJet EJ EJ two zero five, just for example, and then uh, you would be adding the cost index varies on the airlines, but uh, for you you can take any. First post twenty, so I would be letting it twenty. First post, I'm making it fifteen. So just type fifteen and enter it into the cost index. Next, uh, the last thing on this page is this cruising flight level altitude. Uh, so for today, I am taking it uh, 32,000 feet, which, which would be our cruising altitude FL320 for today's flight. Once we are done with the initial page, we will be heading toward the, the uh, preferences, take of preferences. For this we are going to click the PREF button. Now there will be list of uh, takeoff speed and we will uh, set it for suppose for V1. For today I am taking 140. Next I am going to choose the VR rotation speed which will be 142 knots. And at last to be two knots would be which would be 149 knots once this is done you can uh, head to the fight plan f dash plan on this button you can see the uh, this uh, interface uh, for uh, adding flight plan first we are going to click on the top left corner where egll your departure airport code is written after that click on the departure button next we're going to choose the runway from which you are departing so for example i'm taking 09 left for today next uh, we are going to add the sid if you don't know sid so you first need to uh, uh, know about the flight plan how flight plan is made and everything uh, if you know that so you can after clicking on the seats once runway is selected, the list of seats would appear. And for today, I am taking BPK5K for departure. This is a departure seat. And to end, insert the seat into the flight plan, you can see a insert button on down right corner of the display. By clicking it, uh, the seat and runway both has been entered into the flight plan. Next thing we are going to do is to add the waypoints. Uh, waypoints could be one, two, or as many as you want. But uh, for just to give you guys an example, I am adding one waypoint, which it's which is CLN. Once you have typed in the CLN or any waypoint, you can enter it uh, by clicking on the, the previous, the last waypoint previously entered so if you now I'm clicking on BPK and CLN would automatically in, uh, enter the flight plan once we are done with entering the waypoints uh, now we would be entering our destiny uh, uh, arrival flight plan which uh, would include the landing seat and the landing runway for this we'll be clicking on destination uh, button on the down left corner and then on top right we will be seeing the uh, arrival button after clicking on that we will proceed it to interface fill with runway for today the runway for approach is ILS 36 right we will be clicking on that 
Next, again, list of arrival seats will appear in front of us. And for today, uh, I my seat is R E D F one A. I'm going to click on this seat and then click on the insert button to enter it into the flight plan. You can see R E D F A has been entered. Now, once this is this has been entered, you will see a flight plan discontinuity. This basically interrupts your flight plan and. Uh, then it uh, just got disappeared for a while until the next waypoint has been appeared so there would be a discontinu discontinuity between the CLN and the RED effect so to finish this we will be clicking on the clear button on down right corner of uh, keypad and then clicking on the flight plan discontinuity this will finish this discontinuity and we'll, we would be having a direct uh, we are ha having a connected flight plan between CLN and REDFA. Now the last thing we are going to do is to enter the fuel in our aircraft. Although this is not necessary for in uh, Aerofly FS Global as the fuel setting is default. But in other reality flight sims like Microsoft Flight Simulator or in x you need to add the fuel weight I guess. So for this we are going to proceed to fuel. Uh, fuel button next uh, there will be time fuel on board zero fuel weight everything uh, you need to just copy all the details from your flight plan which had been calculated before every flight so for example if you need to add zero fuel weight you can enter for suppose 49.8 is zero fuel weight so you can just write it and enter it and then fuel on board for suppose today is 10.7 you can add it also by clicking similarly time and all things can be added by copying it from uh, the flight plan that you have already made before the flight so that's all for uh, a basics that uh, every flight sim should know to fly in a reality flight sim Thank you for watching I hope you liked and uh, this video has helped you a lot in uh, making uh, your flight plans and uh, learning the MCDU. Thank you.